transformable objects, geometry as art, science, and play, presented by Pino Kogo. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Uh, you're probably wondering who Giorgio Scarpa was. He was an Italian designer, uh, artist, and teacher who worked in bionics, topology, and rotational geometry. He was also my high school teacher and mentor. Inspired by nature, his transformable objects were never meant for practical applications. However, already in the 1970s, he proposed transformable fabrics that today could easily be described as metamaterials. Hosted by TU Delft, had been exploring his work in the context of a more application-oriented environment. Some of his figure transformabili, as he called them, have been published, but there is more to discover and to be inspired by. For example, I'm really curious to know what the unknown mechanism you see in the postcard really, really does. Another mechanism uh, described in hundreds of scientific papers is that of the mouth apparatus of the sea urchin, also known as Aristoteles' lantern. Yet to my knowledge, Scarpus is still the only existing working analog model of the mechanism. It was the mystery of seeing the urchin alive in its environment and seeing parts scattered in the sand that inspired him to build the model. The model in turn inspired a TU Delft student to design a prototype for a biopsy harvester based on a similar opening and closing mechanism. Also inspired by Scarpa, students at the University of California, San Diego recently built a prototype for a mini rover to collect soil samples on Mars. And I also built a functional replica of the model, which you can try out during the interactive uh, session. Uh, in his book, Models of Rotational Geometry, Scarpa placed tiled patterns made with his designs next to microphotographs of muscle fibers. The movement of rotation being the most important action that could activate his models. Among the modular chains shown in the book, some are based on the five platonic solids, like the 12 pentagon dodecahedron, built with 120 inch pyramids that can fold back into the original envelope. Following the instructions in the book, I built a similar solid, the 20 triangle icosahedron, which also can unwind like, 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 like this, in which perhaps, in which perhaps you can help me put to bed put back together <laughs> in, the, um, in the interactive uh, session. Thank you. So, uh, we have all the paper presented. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you for all speakers for your nice presentation. Now I give the stage to open our digital tabs. Right, thank you very much. Okay. I hope everything was very nice. Well, I have some announcements to make. Before we um, 